Hey everyone, coming on live because first thing I want to do before I forget, I forgot last time I came on, is to um, show a couple of people that have asked. They have the day cream and the night cream and they have the boosters and they start using the cream without adding the booster, which you can do, but I just wanted to show you. I still have a little left in some of my older boosters. You want to unscrew the cap off the booster unscrew it otherwise it's really hard to cut that cap it's really really thick plastic and just add it into your cream you have three boosters here's another one you unscrew it snip the edge and then add it in these are these are done I, already, I had already done these but I saved the booster bottles to show so I can toss these now they're pretty much, they're done. And one more, you always have three boosters. So um, make sure you put all three in. That's how the product is designed. Sorry for that noise. <laughs> it's like the end of a ketchup bottle. Okay. And then you have a little spatula that comes with the, in the little plastic bag you got, the Uology bag. Um, all the information is on there. Super simple. But I wanted to show and remind you because I think that helps a little bit. Um, less, less to think about, right? And so you just mix that up until it's nice and good and mixed. Nice and easy. I love this stuff so much. This is my night cream. I absolutely love my night cream. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hands because I kind of already prepped my face for makeup. So on the back of my hands. Perfect. You don't need that paddle anymore. They'll send you another one with the next one. So there you go. So I just wanted to show that. And the other thing was because I know a few people are now really heavy into using the... Um, uh, skin care for protection, sun protection, so put it on your face, your neck, your chest, the back of your hands, and the top part of your um, arm. Just for day-to-day -day use, just put that on. And if you want to help even your skin tone, it's not just for your face. This is a um, exfoliating mask. And you can leave it on as long as you want. It's hydrating. Hey Debbie, how are you? Um, it's a hydrating mask, so it's hydrating. You put it on and it, it exfoliates. Sorry, this is not the hydrating one. This is the exfoliating mask. So you put it on, you gently rub, just rub it on. Make sure you have enough where you feel like the it's doing something. Stay away from any areas that are really red and irritated. You don't want to make it worse. But um, I use this and then I do it very, very lightly on my neck and chest because I've noticed I need to even out the skin tone on my, um, anywhere else besides my face because this has worked amazing on my face. So now I'm using it a little bit on my um, chest area and the back of my hands and the top of my arms. So um, I'm, I'm starting to add that to my weekly routine. Yeah, there's a police officer outside. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. Um, always interesting around here. So, so there you have it. Now I gotta get ready and run out and do a couple of errands. So um, I'm just gonna bring you through my skincare as, as I go through it really quick. Okay, so I put a primer on. Um, I washed and cleansed. The cleanser is amazing. So um, I use the cleanser on my face every, every single day, every morning, every evening. But when I take a shower, I use it on my face, my neck, my chest. I use it on my arms and I use it on the, um, the top part of my legs down to my feet because I've noticed it's helping my skin lock in a layer of moisture that I really, really enjoy, especially in the winter. I would have loved this um, winters back east. And where I noticed this work the, the most, this is a primer I'm putting on. I've already put on um, toner, cream, day cream. Um, I already put that on my SPF protecting veil. Um, all right, so where I noticed 
the cleanser work really well at locking in moisture is when I was doing a lot of swimming at a local university's um, outdoor swimming pool big old Olympic sized swimming pool and I went there just to get some exercise in in the summer when it was really hot uh, really cheap to join so it was fantastic loved it sorry about that but a little doggy on there anybody uh, that uh, from back east knows where that mug came from yes I have it <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to it so I took it that mug has a lot of good memories around it. It used to be, um, we have a family cabin in the Adirondacks and that mug has been there for years. I don't remember who found it or how it got there. I have no idea. But it has um, a spaniel on it and we've always owned spaniels. So that mug has always been like, I'm a mug person, right? You've seen Colleen and I get on, right? <laughs> Debbie, we always have. And I did get the earrings, by the way, so we can triplet with the earrings. Um, the star, the little Starbucks earrings, but that mug is from the Adirondacks from somewhere on the Adirondacks. It's Remington. I guess that's the that company Remington and has a little information about the dog on the back, I think. All right. So I have to keep going and move along here. So I have till my, till my concealer comes in, I'm using Scarlet and Stick for a little bit of under eye concealer and then I will use on the sides they're gone not an issue then I will use um, velour velour is my go-to color so just rub that in stipple rub gently when you use a um, high power magnifying mirror you can see if you're rubbing it too hard or too light and you can make sure you're going all the way out to your hairline and then I don't really put any directly on my um, eyelids but I'll use whatever's on the brush just to kind of pull a little of the color even even it out there Ta -da, ta -da. And yes, I am going to move my vanity and get better lighting at some point so you can see it better. So I'm just checking off to the side. Make sure it's all blended. Okay. Happy, happy with that. Um, quick look. I can zip through it pretty fast. I know exactly where I like to have certain colors and everything, just like base. Okay, it might not be perfectly evenly done, but you'll see when you blend it in, it kind of, it gives it a wider range, <laughs> wider margin of error, it doesn't matter. Okay, I do have a little buff out brush for that. If you ever use too much, just buff it in a little bit more. If you have to, just like clean your brush off and do it again. The brush cleaners that dry immediately are great. The unique one, I know there's other ones out there, so whatever you have. If you have one that's oily and leaves it to the point where it has to dry off, I guess there was an issue. Um, then you might want to find the one that when you spray and wipe it off, it dries it immediately. Those are amazing to use. I have that one. I use it all the time. You can use it really quick in between using makeup. Like if you tried a eyeshadow that was like way too dark and you want to switch it and now your brush is all dark powder on it, you can spritz it, wipe it off, and immediately use it because it's dry. Okay, so I'm going to put a little, little bronzer on. I have my bronzer. So I am right now really quick because I have to chauffeur my children around um still don't you don't get to use my car unless you're working or going to college so you know it's gonna get old soon anyway i'm gonna put sisterly on my blush 
It's going to get old fast. In fact, it already is. And that's fine. So she does not get to use my car unless she has a specific reason. And hanging out with your friends is not specific. I can drive for that. Tell them, I love driving. I love hanging out with you. I'll take you wherever you want to go. <laughs> not exactly what she wants to hear from me, but oh well, not her car. And so I'm going to put a little highlighter right above my blush. Done. Don't be afraid if it's not perfect. I mean... I take a little bit more time when I'm going out somewhere. I do it fast because I feel like I know where to put it pretty fast. But I'll take a lot more time if I'm going out to um, dinner or something where I'm going to be sitting like really close and you know I want to look a little better. So, all right. So did that. Now I have real quick my eyebrows. So I've been using my um, stick again. So I kind of just draw in a few, um, like I, I work with the hairline, my brow hairline, and I'll bring it down a little lower in the front and a little longer on the sides. And one of my daughters is wanting to really do my brows for me one day and show me what I can do with them. So till that happens, this is what I have. <laughs> okay. She'll come back on and do another, um, she'll say, oh, your brows are dark. You know what? If my brows are light, I feel like they're so light you can't even see them. So I don't understand when she says they're they're too dark because I'm like, I can't even see them. I can't see them. So I want to be able to see them just a little bit, a little definition. And when I put my mascara on, it brings out even more definition. So it kind of blends it all in nicely. That is something, some, it's neighbor activity and just catching my eye. Hmm. <laughs> so the color I'm going to use today, just one simple color. I'm going to use gingerly. It's a matte caramel. Really, really pretty matte caramel. Can you see that? So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. And making it real simple, one color, nothing else. And I'll start a little heavier on the outside and then bring it in a little more. I'm going to switch my brush really quick and blend it with one that doesn't have any color on at all. And so you just blend, 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 blend. So the blending is really important. It gives it a much more smoother, natural, an ombre effect because you're actually blending it heavier. Like I put the color heavier on the outside and then blend it in toward the center. So it gives it a slight ombre look. So it's not like flat color. So that's gingerly matte caramel beautiful color it just gives some definition to my eye right before I put my um mascara I'll do a little bit of liner um ooh, actually I'm gonna use this is a uh, Black Friday it's the darker of the two uh, colors I'm just gonna put a little right over my lid because it's got a shimmer to it and I love my shimmer Actually, I'm tempted. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go easy today. There is, there is for sure. I could, if I want to spend time, but I have to go. But um, ornate is one of our liquid. It's like a bronze, brown bronze color that would go really nice, really nice. But I'm gonna keep moving along. So now I have my 4D. that going 
So I was up early, early, getting the dog out for a walk. My husband has him set into a cycle now. He gets up really early for work and the dog's so excited. Peanut's like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, and now uh, Matt is away. Um, travel till Saturday, um, which is why it's even busier for me. And the dog wakes up, Peanut wakes up, oh God, at like 6 a.m and shakes and his little collar rings and he knows it rings and he sits there and he shakes it and I'm just like stop <laughs> um anyway yesterday I didn't get up too early and I felt bad for him because he didn't get up for a couple of hours today I got up early and took him out and I had 15 minutes to walk him and I didn't want to just take him down the street and back. So we did walk, run, walk, run, where we walk a block, run a block, walk a block, run a block. So I figure I get a little activity in, get my heart rate up. So that's not a bad thing. And then by the time I get back, I feel like completely awake. There's no way I'm going, you know, like ready for my day. Up, ready, go. Coffee, ready, go makeup when I get up and out really early I just put sunglasses on and go and sometimes like if I feel like I need it I'll just put a little bit of um, a little bit of foundation on really quick and go then I'll wash my face and start over because <laughs> it's like quick go get that dog out the door so um, oops. so you can see right now I have one eyeshadow color I did do a little bit of shimmer from my Black Friday. That's the wrong one. The darker brown of the two Black Friday ones. Just a little bit of shimmer on the top. You can barely even notice. I could have skipped it. But I am just using gingerly on my eyes. That's it. It is a matte caramel. It's a really pretty, just simple earth tone natural color and I just zapped my eyelash there all right so my um, one of the things I want to hurry up and get out to the to the um, Hallmark store and get a card for my niece whose birthday is Saturday I know I'm cutting it really close I want to go get one of one of the things I've been wanting to do for a while is get back into the mode of sending really nice cards out to people because I feel like that's something that's dropped off and it's a really good memory I have from my grandmother would always send me these um, uh, cards and, and it didn't matter where the card came from. Half the time it wasn't even, like I don't think she got out to the store that much because some of the cards were not really meant for the occasion she sent it for but she just kind of crossed things out and wrote in what she wanted. She would send, like when I was older, she would send, when I was younger, she'd call me like brat, but very affectionately, <laughs> different generation. Um, I know I was one of her favorites. And then, um, don't tell my siblings, when I was older, she would um, send like five or ten dollars, throw it in there, and she'd ha say, have a drink on me, which I think is super cute, because I pretty much know all of my family has whatever they want. They all do. I mean, nobody's rolling in dough, but nobody's broke. So I know they're all doing okay. And I feel like either I just send a card or I send like $5 in there and it says, have a coffee on me or whatever, have a drink on me, depending on their age. I don't want to upset my, <laughs> my brothers and sisters when I talk to their kids. But um, I feel like it's just, just a fun way to connect and it doesn't have to be a lot and it's just something cute and I remember it so much when I was younger. It really, it and I still have the cards. Um, when I go through, I think I moved everything back down to the garage because it was too much to leave up in the bedroom, but when I go through it again, I'll take a picture and post it. You guys will laugh. Um, it was really sweet. My I, I miss, I had you know two grandmothers growing up and this one was a lot more of a character I guess <laughs> more bigger personality and um, when she passed in the 80s I really it, I took that hard so I missed her a lot this is my dad's mother so um yeah um, and she did she did funny things like I went and reread the letters over last summer 
and she would kind of relay information to me to relay to my parents. It was pretty funny. I don't even remember that back then. I would, and if I told my parents or whatever, "Hey, Colleen, how are you?" Um, I would, I would probably have relayed them. I don't know. But this grandmother, I just, I don't know. She was, she was the kind of grandmother <laughs> that when you told her what you were doing, she was all excited and she's like, "Have a great time," and she would love to see how we would dress up. So when I dressed up and went out, it was in the late 80s, early 90s. So I cut the very end of the disco scene. So we teased our hair up really high and we wore mini skirts and we went out and we were, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> Yay, Colleen. I'm glad you're doing good. How is Miss Kimberly? You guys hanging out at home today? One of my girls is off from school this week. She doesn't have classes yet, so we're busy running around. And the other one has been applying for jobs for healthcare. But um, she's afraid of needles at the moment, so we're gonna have to figure out how that's gonna work out or maybe look into a different um, feel. Yeah, the 80s and the 90s. <laughs> um, yeah, it was interesting. I mean, do you remember like Deborah Harry? Um, not so much Cindy Lauper because she was very extreme with her neon and extra everything. Um, but more like Pat Benatar kind of look, I guess. <laughs> Less red leather though. <laughs> Um, and I honestly don't, I know we did makeup and stuff, but I don't remember, I don't remember like doing brows and I don't remember much more than, um, blue eyeshadow. I really don't. I wish I remembered what I wore. I think it was just, it was foundation and it wasn't even lipstick. If we did anything, it was lip gloss. So I'm like, I think it was more hair. We spent like an hour on our hair, teasing it to get it as high as we could without going too high. Right? There's always this special sweet spot where you would get your hair. Yep, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, she hasn't yet. Miss Kimberly, yep, she's been having fun and running, running, running. And you now you guys are having a little slow time. That's fun. Seriously, Colleen, I know it's a lot of work, but I miss those days. There's a lot of work coming, <laughs> teens. But yeah you're in you're so well set up to go through it i'm telling you you are so well set up um anyone doing appointments oh my gosh and if you have little kids you will weather those teen years like a champ <laughs> not like i did sorry i actually if it, if it weren't for my appointments i would not mm -mm, i wouldn't even be on lives right now was a mess. So anyway, I am. Um, so Colleen, I have just gingerly on my eyes. That's it. And I started on the color on the outside and then I just did a lot of blending so it would give it like an ombre effect. So the color, my lip color lately, I've been using just subtle with Lux on top. It's an easy, easy lip color. I love snarky, but when I put it on, I feel like it needs to be later in the day for me. And then Lux. And I feel like that's like enough color for me for the daytime to run around, do errands. I'm going to go pick out a birthday card and I'm going to have fun with it. I'm going to get crazy silly birthday cards, you know, depending on who I'm sending it to is going to depend on how far I'm pushing the envelope for <laughs> humor. I can, I can have a pretty crazy sense of humor, but I have to make sure whoever's receiving it has the same type of humor or it may not work so well. <laughs> Thank you. I love luck. Snarky. I love snarky and I love subtle and I love, so here's subtle 
and snarky so you can see the difference they're very close in color um, when I look for something a little more to match the nude during the day uh, subtle is on the top and snarky is on the bottom snarky has a little bit more color pigment to it and subtle on the top is a little more it matches more like a nude so um, for me and my complexion generally I wear snarky later in the day and subtle during the day I can wear subtle at night easily it's just a nice easy color to wear and I can change the um, the color hue of it by putting like um, what's the pink one I want to call it remember the one I want to call bubblicious <laughs> the lip gloss Thank you. Diva Skin. Woo! Um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. But I mean, I can change it with any of these lip glosses. I wouldn't, maybe not the, the strongest one. Um, but here's Lunar. Lunar would be a nice color. That would keep it really, really nude, which is why Lux is like a go to because it has just enough color in it. It's just really pretty. And I'm missing one of my. Um, my lip gloss is my pink one. Lovesick. Oh, is lovesick? Is that it? Is that the pink lip gloss? I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, I have. It's funny because I just went through a few things, but I have a few for my car. I'm gonna bring those down, leave them in the car. I love those. Um, Brooke gave me a little heart, so I just wanted to just show you the heart. Say, don't forget Valentine's Day is coming up. We have some really cool colors and packages. And oh, the skincare. If you opt for the kudos. So the kudos um, is you pick a mask, you pick one of the toners, and you get the wipes. And I do use these every single day, twice a day. Everything works together. You don't want to skip. Don't guess which is which go together but you have the choice to boost the kudos and get an applicator stick at a discount as well um so check that if you're buying it because i had a couple people tell me they were super excited because they didn't have the application uh tool for the mask so you can there you can add that on as a bonus and get another discount for it so super super good discount right now but even a bigger discount so that kudos is what you see when you first land on the page but if you go to our special collections that have I don't have my purse over with me that has the purse with it it is what is it it's like a little over $50 off and you get oh my gosh this is the best and if like I'm getting it just to get it because $50 off but you get your day cream your night cream you get a serum, which this one is almost out. I have another one, but I'm getting this because I love backup. And mine, my other one is, I have a backup and my um, other serum I keep in the bathroom. So I wash my face with it at the sink every night and in the shower, I do my face, my neck, my chest, the back of my hands. I do the top part of my leg all the way down to my foot. And it really locks in and, and changes the moisture content of your skin it really it like trains it to hold it in and like I said that's what I used when I went swimming in a chlorinated pool for two months and my skin still felt soft and moist and it just shocked me so um yeah it all works together so if you have any questions or anything like that ask Colleen or I because we're so happy to help you we love everything that we're using and there are sometimes different ways that we use it and, and sometimes depending on what's going on with your skin. So um, check with us, definitely, because we want to make sure you like whatever you're using, you love it and that you're going to start seeing results because you'll see results within the first week or two. But oh my gosh, like we've been doing this for over a year and we love our skin so much, <laughs> which is why we keep getting on and raving about it because we know you, you want to love your skin too. I mean, it changes so much about how you feel about your, not only your skin, but yourself. Thank you. Yeah, $50 savings, Colleen. So, like, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to definitely get one. I might get two because that's the base skincare, and that is what we use every single day without fail. 
all of it. I use all of it every single day. As you know, I put makeup on. I think there's like two or three days a month I don't put makeup on, <laughs> I think. And um, I just like to, I like to get up, I like to get ready, I like to put something on, I like to go out. And um, I feel like when I run into people, I'm ready. And when I walk the dog, I feel like I'm ready. You know, I go out and I'm always running into somebody. Um, this is a very transient area, but I still run into people. So it's nice to feel like I look good. Not like, oh shoot, you know, here comes someone I know and I didn't brush my hair or brush my teeth or put some makeup on or something. Nope, always ready. And it doesn't take a lot, as you just saw. I'm ready in like minutes. Um, so I, I love it. I don't go into um, an office or anything, and I used to, and I don't think I wore a lot of makeup then. But um, I just, I love my vanity. It's like my, my personal space and it's just, I love it. I can't describe how, I feel like now that I have it, I feel like I've always had it and if something were to happen and it went away, I would be really sad because <laughs> this space has been like mine. Like I pull it in, I'm like, yes. Yeah, so plump and moisturized. I love, 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 love it. Thank you, Colleen. Hey, Pina, come here. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Come and say hi. He doesn't want to say hi. He knows. He's really funny because, I mean, dogs are smart. They just, they know the very basic things. He knows my patterns. If he sees me putting makeup on, he knows I'm probably going out soon. If, get out of that garbage. He likes to take tissues and just shred them. Um, and he's going for the tissue I threw over there with my lip. I pressed my lip on it. Um, if he knows exactly what I'm doing and what I'm doing and he gets like, it's the funniest thing. It's all the basic stuff. He doesn't think of anything else. He just sees my patterns and he knows exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of funny having a dog again and seeing that. Uh, and he just patiently sits there and watches <laughs> and waits <laughs> or brings his toys over to say, hey, play with me. Um, it's just funny, you know, the life of a dog. <laughs> And he's so cute. Come here. Come here. I have to show him because, come here, sweetheart. Come here. Oh, it's like he knows. When my when I have my phone, he gets a little, like, standoffish. Like, you have your phone? Well, you can't have me, too. Pick one or the other, but not both. Right? Anyway, thank you, Colleen. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's ready to leave. I have to run. Maybe, you know, if I find a funny card, I'll post it um, below because that's like, that's one of the things I really want to keep on top of. And I'm starting with my niece, Sarah, and um, she lives back on the East Coast and um, she got a presenter kit too. She knew about 3D mascara, not the 4D, she knew about the 3D. So when she got the presenter kit, she got the 4D, she was excited. Um, and I've uh, been keeping them up to date and some other people that bought the kit on like how to use the serum and stuff. So real quick before I go, lash serum. Every night after you take your makeup off, and for those of you who don't take your makeup off, Liz, um, you can still use it, <laughs> but it probably works better if your makeup's gone and it's cleaner and it just, it kind of goes to the root and you just put it on and it just slowly kind of goes down and it thickens your lashes. You will see a difference. You'll see a difference after two weeks, but definitely after 30 days. So use it straight for 30 days. Try not to miss a night. Put it on your lashes, your brows, your hairline. It'll work. Same principle. Anyway, I have to go. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Oh my gosh, she was so excited to get the 4D. So excited over the top. So, um, yeah, she's like, I know you, you work with Unique, but I didn't know how you did, you know, because I didn't, I don't really, I don't really, th you know, it's a longer story, but um, when she found out, she was so excited. So um, that was kind of fun because um, a lot of people I know know about Unique, but they don't because they're not in the stores. So when they know that I work with it, they're like, oh, they have questions they want to hear. They're, and then they're really looking at my face. And um, in the beginning, it was very intimidating. But after a year of using it, I have to tell you, I have like, I'm like, yeah, come look close, get closer. <laughs> 
because there's nothing to hide. After a year using it, you'll you'll be blown away. And that's why I can't wait to see how, like after another year. So I have gone just from exclusively face to um, where I'd like once in a while go down. Now I'm really like paying more attention to my neck, chest, and upper arm area. And also um, for exfoliating and evening my skin tone out with sunspots and stuff because I have noticed I do have them. And um, I'm not uh, shy to be in the sun, but I do want to make sure when I'm in the sun I'm not aging myself faster. So there are a few things that I'm taking care of more this year, so I'm excited to see the differences between now and December. And um, again, like, you know, in December, I'm gonna have no problem saying, yeah, come here, show you here. You can use a, a magnifying glass and look, because we see the results and we see how the line works together perfectly. So that's why we're sharing it with you guys, because we care. We want you to have really awesome skin too. Um, and you can ask us anything. You can ask us how, like, like any of the back office stuff. You want to know how it all works? You, we'll tell you because it's it's pretty open, pretty easy, um, and it's fun. It's a lot of fun, and it's like it's it's a whole like sisterhood. Although there are a lot of guys in it too, because there's a lot of guys that do some serious makeup out there. Like I have learned a few tricks from a couple watching a few guys do videos, um, but. Overall, because I feel like that was something that I really enjoyed too, is having like the sisterhood for the most part where everybody is uh, very um, happy to help each other, happy to say, hey, copy this. You see something I did? Copy it. Go for it. It's not, it's not sacred information where I have to hoard everything. It is, it is sharing, caring, and um, when you bring out your best and you help someone else bring out their best, it's like a domino effect. Um, and that's why the company was set up this way. It was set up to help. So it just makes a huge difference when you look at it versus any other company out there. Anyway, I know I've said it three times now, but I do have to go. Thank you, Colleen. Yeah, amazing, I do. Anyway, I will see you all later. Thank you for hopping on with me. I'll talk to you all later. PM me below. I will um, share a link with just the basic stuff that I use today. Gingerly on the eyes, that's it. You can see one shadow color, that's it. I think you can see it. Usually I, I don't put on enough to see, but hopefully you can see it. Can you see it? I will share it, thanks Colleen. All right, talk to you guys later, bye.